All right, guys, so I got them unloaded and I sent them up here and I was checking out, making sure everything's here for it. And they're actually fairly nice bikes for what they are. We have this one over here that's a 250cc and, you know, even though they're like Chinese off-brand dirt bikes, they, you know, they're still pretty nice for what they are. And uh, then this one is a 125 and it actually seems pretty big for, for what it is, but... Luckily, this one's already all put together. It's there. We just have to mess with it a little bit. Probably spark plug and carburetor, something simple. Uh, this one, unfortunately, looks like it was taken apart a little bit. And um, not sure as to, to why, you know, um, what makes someone think they need to tear it apart. But, yeah, they had their reasons, and now it's uh, up to me to put it back together. So I'll, uh, I'll show you a little bit of what they've done to it and, what I think we can do. Alright guys, so looking over at this bike, they had just wiring everywhere torn off of it. Not exactly sure why and they just connected a couple wires. Need to find out what those wires do. See what made them think about doing that. Um, looks like he was adding something here for the bike. I'm not exactly sure because this is not look normal to the bike it's just this little separate piece over here but everything looks like it's here um, they connected these green wires all together in one center piece and then here you have your ground for the battery the black one and the green one and he put them both together so that's not gonna do any good so I'll have to mess with all of those. Um, it does still have a key here for it. Here's the the brake wires for the brake lever. They just connect up in this little thing right here, and uh, you just threw a copper rod on it. I don't know why, but then again, I like I said, I don't know why, but uh, I'm gonna look over it and we'll get onto it. So it doesn't upset me at all. But just makes me curious as to why. So, but uh, I mean, they both kick over. Um, we're gonna check on for spark on them. Well, at least just this one right now. Got to see where this one is going with it. But uh, check for spark. Take the carb off, clean it up, and then we'll uh, go from there. See if we can get it going. And we'll just uh, we'll share some videos on these because we're excited alright so we got into this and we tearing this bike apart just to get to the carb and it was kind of a pain lots of plastics and all that I had to move the air filter box just to get the carburetor off in this area but I went ahead and replaced uh, the needle and uh, the Rod all of it because the needle was bent and the throttle's all sticky and I had spare laying around. But uh, this is what we got for the carburetor on this inside. Worst carb I've ever seen. And this seen. is like this is filthy. This is terrible. And what happens with this is uh, you let it sit too long with gas in it and the mm -hmm. ethanol gums up and, and the point. gas itself just it does in a sense expire so got it gummed up all on the sides this right is gonna, there. gonna take some good cleaning for mm -hmm. it but uh, we'll go ahead and do <laughs> that and uh, here too. So. but we'll go ahead and clean them and then uh, put them back in and see where we get with it so I, while my brother's cleaning the carburetor on that bike I took a second looked at this bike again I uh, looked at putting the rear tire on and, you know, we got this and the kid said he had everything and, yeah, I don't blame him. You know, when you start tearing stuff off, you lose stuff. But um, we didn't have a, a bolt or spacers for the rear tire. So, uh, I looked through my scrap stuff and I'm going to have to improvise. So this right here, I'm going to measure it out to space it out for a good distance for both sides of the wheels wheel and 
throw it together so we can keep it in one place. So hopefully that'll take care of that. And also I was looking at this. Got the exhaust on. But looking at all these wires, taking a glance at them, you know, making sure that they're at least all connected where they go and uh, what I might need to look into replacing or fix up. So got these hoses here and there and I'm like I need to figure out where these go to. So I think one's an error and one's for the fuel, but I'll double check. So I'll look, work more on that. And I also had this uh, front headlight lying around. And I'm thinking of a uh, put it on the front of the bike. I want to be too hard to wire it up so that it works. So I'll look into doing that as well. So on the gas tank, this was the fuel valve they had on it, and uh, it's a crazy angle that they had to get the fuel to the carburetor. So the carburetor wasn't getting enough fuel. So I have this one I had for another bike or project a while back, but I never ended up using it. I figured something else out. So I'm going to see if I can match it up on there. And instead of going down, it goes sideways, and so I can go from sideways and just go straight across to the carb instead of going down, up, and over like this one is here. So I'm going to ahead and try to put that on the gas tank and we'll see how well it works. So, worked on the fuel, and that, uh, it works better. You can't really get to see it, but the angle is just, it's not ideal. It just, I don't know. I'm hoping there's enough down pressure force that it'll just they'll just push the fuel down and then up and then still add a slight angle to the carb, but we'll see. We did get it to fire up, so but we're gonna finish putting it back together before we ride it. Anyways, so here we have the air box that was sitting right here, but you had to take it out to really get the carburetor off. The whole thing's a pain because this rear plastic has to come off and slide it out and so to eliminate all that I have extra air pods sitting around so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just put that on and eliminate the whole air box itself so the battery was connected to the side of the air box so I went ahead and uh, cut it up a little bit and we're gonna just set it on top right here and uh, I'm thinking about just drilling some holes and then just uh, tap it in for some screws and they'll be secured right into the frame and then the battery itself will just sit right there and we get a little brace bracket for it to go over it to keep it secure there so we can do that and then uh, finish putting the rest of it back on. Okay, so we just finished this up. We got the air filter pod on and fits really good there, not in the way of anything. And then the air box was right here. We took it out and the bracket for the battery was over on this back side of it. But um, didn't have anywhere to hold it onto, so we uh, uh, drilled holes right up through the frame here and uh, put a bolt through them. I'm not worried about that ruining the structure of it or anything because this is just where your seat will go up on so your butt just sits there. Yeah but here's our battery. You put it in, fits really snug and then you can still get to your, your cables up there from underneath right here and then um, I was gonna do a a little bracket for it to help secure the battery there. Still might in the future, but for now, what happens is we put the seat on and it just puts enough, sits right on top of this, so there's no room for it to, to move around on. So we're just gonna leave that as it is and then finish putting the bike back together and go from there. All right, so we're done finished working on this 125 here. It's not super pretty or anything but for 125 it's fairly 
fairly tall and big actually so but uh yeah we we got it to run just for a little bit though I think it's that fuel line just because it's at a funky angle but for now we're gonna set it aside and work on this other one here and see where we can get with that anyways thanks for watching this guys hey guys thanks for watching this week uh, I noticed as I was editing the video that it's uh, the vo volume on it you can't hardly hear me sometimes and that's uh, my bad for having the camera so far away uh, I'm getting new to all this recording stuff so I I, uh, I'm gonna work on improving that and doing a lot better with that so but anyways thanks again for watching it this was really cool to just work on a couple of dirt bikes with my brother and tear them down clean them up uh, we still have the one that the red one that we just didn't have a lot of time to get to and this video is getting kind of long as it is so uh, we're just gonna leave this one as it is and put it up and uh, uh, I've actually I have in the process of uh, two other videos getting made so I'll be putting up one either later this week or next weekend so um, my schedule has uh, gotten fixated where I can focus a lot on uh, the weekends working on these things so I can work towards that and even a little bit throughout the week so uh, I'm gonna set it to put a video out every weekend if I can we'll get it going and we'll work out this work this out so uh, I've picked up a few more projects this weekend, so I'm excited to show them to you guys and get going with those because they're really fun. Uh, it keeps me busy, and this is my, my my hobby. This is my favorite thing to do is just work on stuff. So, anyway, guys, not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. If you liked this video, like it. You'll see more. And uh, my garage is getting full just to show you. So, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later.